Hey guys, Brian here. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review of the Blue Eddy AC 200 PL power station. This is a beast of a power station uh, that I've had for the last couple of weeks and I've been using it and it is awesome. Today, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a general overview, talk about some of the specs of it, tell you guys exactly how I've used this the last couple of weeks. And we're gonna do a little bit of some uh, torture testing, if you will. I'm gonna try hooking this thing up to my welder to see if it works, small air compressor into some other tools. But I had been looking for a power station because I wanted to be able to run air conditioning in my garage. I also need something bigger to be able to use on our property in the mountains and also in my Moonlander when I go camping. And it just so happened Blue Eddy actually reached out to me, said, hey, we'll give you this thing. And since I was in the market for one, uh, I did some research first to make sure it was quality it looked really good, and so I said, yeah, ship it on over. So let's go ahead and get into the specs of this awesome power station. It is a 2400 watt power station continuous. It has a pure sine wave inverter, which is awesome. And it's 3600 watt peak. Um, as far as the capacity, it's 2304 watt hours. This is one of the main reasons I wanted this and the fact that it holds such a large wattage um because like i said I'm, I'm using this to run a garage air conditioning right now but i also want to use this on our property to operate tools and stuff like that because i am a far ways away from an electrical cord when i'm up there and this thing is going to help out tremendously as far as all the ports go we do have a 30 amp plug which is amazing you could use this for your rv we did sell our camper but if we still had our camper and we have this power station, honestly, I could have seen us using this because in the morning when we would wake up, generally we'd run the microwave for just a little bit of time. And if we were at a campground that didn't have hookups and we didn't want to disturb the neighbors, you know, we usually we would wait till after quiet hours. But with this, you could plug your camper in, you know, use your coffee pot, use your microwave. This thing's got plenty of power. It's got plenty of watt hours. Uh, capacity be able to hold it and you won't disturb your neighbors so I think this is great that they have this uh, there are four standard American 120 volt uh, outlets here these are 20 amps you can see each section it's laid out very nicely with these orange squares so that's all your AC so in order to operate those you just simply push your AC button if you want to use a USB we push that and now we can use our USB ports. We have two USB-C 100 waters and then two USB-A 18 waters. And what's nice is when you push that button, it does show up on your display, which is pretty awesome. Um, on top, we have two wireless charging stations, which are 15 watt output. And then over on this side, the DC, this is our uh, socket outputs. We have a 12 volt, 10 amp, and then a 48 volt, 8 amp. I've never used anything like that. I frankly don't know what you would use for that, but uh, it is available here. Our display is really nice and legible. As you can see here, we are bringing in 677 watts, 60 watts-ish of uh, solar coming in. We have zero watts going out to our DC. With our current solar coming in and our AC output, we can do this for eight and a half hours and uh, our battery is 95 percent so again a real nice legible display i really like that and you got your ac output and then this is your ac input this thing is great because it its inputs are really high a lot higher than a lot of other power stations the ac input you can input up to 2400 watts into this now that's on this pro mode is what they call it. You have to actually reach out to Blue Eddy in order to open that up. Standard is 12 amps, which uh, is about 1400 watts, which is still really good. As far as the solar input, it's 1200 watts. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that when I show you guys the port. As far as the watt hours go, uh, this does have lithium iron phosphate batteries in here. And you have a life cycle, they say, of 3000 charge cycles uh, while maintaining 80% of the original capacity. So you can use this thing for, you know, almost 10 years uh, every single day while still having 80% or above capacity, which is pretty awesome. Here's just a closer look at the display. 
uh, again, it's, it's very legible. What's neat too with the app, you can have this stay on for five seconds, uh, 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, and uh, which I really like. Very nice, very legible, shows everything. As soon as you hit the DC, it plugs up here, shows that you have the DC, shows that we're bringing in solar, shows that our Wi-Fi Bluetooth is connected, and then there is a small fan that's running in this, which is extremely quiet, by the way. And that's one thing that I've really noticed about this huge power station, even though it produces a lot of power, um, it outputs power, it brings in a lot of power. It is very quiet, which I really appreciate. Here's just a look on uh, the top view. It does have some really nice grab handles, a nice flat service too, which I also appreciate because even if you're not charging anything up here, you know, sometimes it's nice just to put stuff up here and uh, you have a nice flat service. I have another power station that it's not flat up top and the handles are right in the middle. So you can never set anything on it, which is kind of ridiculous. So real nice big grab handles, because this thing does weigh a lot. I think it weighs like 68 pounds or something. And so it's good to have these nice huge grab handles. Um, coming over to the right side, really nothing here, just an output for a fan. And then uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit better detail the left side. So on this left side is basically where all your inputs is. Right now I have the PV input, which is a solar input. And one thing that's really important, this thing will take up to 1200 watts of solar, which is awesome. But you really have to make sure that you match the voltage and amps going into this thing. Traditionally, when I've used power stations, I've always run things in parallel. Um, but uh, when you do that, you increase your amperage. And because I have three 425 watt panels, my amperage was gonna be too large for this. However, if I ran it into series, you can see the voltage drain on, on here is huge. It's 12 volts to 145 volts. So that's how I was able to max out the capacity on this is I wired it up in series. And I've brought in as high as 1100 watts on my panels. I just have them temporarily put on the side of my house. So I'm not really maxing out the uh, angle and stuff, but that's just one important thing to note. This is AC input. Like I said, this will uh, go up to 2,400 watts of charging. This is for your ground. This is for your battery ex expansion. You can add, I believe it's up to 8,000 kilowatt hours uh, on this. So, and then we have a reset circuit protector. So um, this does not have a waterproof rating but you do have these little covers, which is nice just to keep dust and everything out. Then here's the back of the power station. It's just got some facts and information about it, which is really helpful if you're ever questioning, you know, how much solar you can input or the AC input or any of that stuff. It's all on here, which uh, I definitely really like that. So one thing that I really like about the power station is the fact that you can't hook it up to the app on your phone. It's very straightforward and easy to use. Uh, it says exactly how much energy you have bringing in if you have it hooked up to solar or AC and then how much power you have going out. And there's a lot of different features and things that you can tweak in there. Some of the stuff that you can tweak is the UPS function. So there's four different UPS modes. So UPS, if you guys don't know, stands for uninterrupted power source. And this thing has a rating of 20 milliseconds. So if you're hooking this up to your house and your grid power were to go out, in 20 milliseconds, the power will automatically switch over to this, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's also an eco mode in the app as well. So it'll power down the power station if it isn't having any usage. One thing to keep in mind with that is if you are running something like a refrigerator, we were doing that uh, about a week ago and actually the power station had shut off because our 12 volt fridge had not been running the air compressor and it literally takes zero power when it does that. So um, I didn't know that you could adjust that setting. So now I do <laughs> because it actually turned off and then uh, we discovered our fridge was starting to get a little bit warm. So good thing we caught that. But there's a lot of really neat features in the app. It's also great because it's Wi-Fi controlled so you can remotely control the power station and look at it which is super convenient. I've been using that with my garage air conditioning. So I'll tell you guys a little bit how I've used this thing so far. I've primarily used this to run the portable 
air conditioning in my garage, which has been amazing. I have 1,275 watts of solar set up and I have that powering the power station and then that runs to the air conditioning. And that's how I've been using this a lot. I've also used this to power a 12 volt fridge on a weekend trip we had last weekend. I've used this to charge my chainsaw battery as well as my, uh, it's the same mower, blower, weed whacker, you know, all those. And then I use it up our property to charge the chainsaw battery as well as a backpack sprayer battery. And, uh, and also run an 1800 watt auger. So now that we've talked about all the specs, I've told you guys how I've used it. Let's start hooking some stuff up. Now we do have the garage air conditioning going, trying to keep me cool in here. We're currently taking 905 watts. We're only bringing in 270 watts of solar. It's pretty overcast out there. But let's just uh, plug in some lower device stuff. Let's see what I have in my cabinet here. Here's a little palm sander. We'll plug this bad boy in while we're running our air conditioner. So 1100 watts total. All right, runs that no problem. Let's see what else we got in here. A little multi-tool, which this I do use a lot up at our property. This or a, um, a grinding wheel, like a cutoff wheel. That is super loud, but it runs that no problem. Let's grab some bigger stuff and see what else we can run. All right, so we have an impact gun here. Let's, uh, can we do this with the refrigerator? Let's find out. So the air conditioner, the condenser did kick off. That's interesting. Let's try some other big stuff. All right, so this is a little smaller air compressor that I have that I got pretty much uh, just to be able to use at our property and smaller jobs. I believe it's seven amps, but the startup is a little bit higher. So let's see if it runs it. If I can turn it on here. There she goes. No problem. Oh, this is only pulling 670 watts, 700 watts, 720, 725, 728, 730, 733, 738, 39, 741. So it is running this air compressor like a champ. And we are getting up to pressure. It's only taking 740 watts. Now this is a smaller air compressor and it actually has a st soft start on it. And I got it for this exact reason because I wanna be able to use it off of a power station so that I can use it on a uh, small cabin project that I'm gonna be doing that you guys will see a series of, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, it looks like we are gonna get this thing fired right up. No problem, and it should be cutting off any second here. There you go. All right, folks, this is the moment of truth. Can the Blue Eddy AC 200 PL run my welder? We're about to find out. So far, I turned it on. Get my bare legs out of here. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Love to know how many watts we're taking. Let's cover that up. Nice. So it's only taken up, but it looks like fifteen hundred watts ish, something like that. It still runs it. That's awesome. All right, so let's uh, try to see if we can get close to maxing this thing out. So now we're gonna try a kettle, electric kettle. We have my portable air conditioning going. It's taking 922 watts. This is a kettle, say you're camping and you want some tea or some ramen, or you have a coffee dripper and you have one of these guys. This takes 1500 watts. There we go, we are running both. 
Look at that. 2286. Or is that 2291? But we are pretty much maxing this baby out right now. And she is going. These things are awesome, by the way. If you guys don't have one of these, you got to get one. I'll put a link in the description to one on Amazon. This is where we got ours, but they heat water up so fast. And like except for coffee dripper, tea, ramen, any of that stuff, it's perfect. So it's working just fine. Just under 2,300 watts. We do have the uh, power boost on right now, but I don't know that you'd really need it. It looks like, yeah, we're gonna boil that, no problem. Well, that's pretty awesome that uh, it runs my welder. And uh, I was super impressed that it was running the kettle and the air conditioning at the same time. But uh, overall, guys, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this power station. One thing I like about the Blue Eddies is their price per watt hour is a little bit lower than some of the other big brands out there. So that's great about this power station. I also really like the aspect that this takes on a lot of solar. As I learned when I was hooking up solar with this, really being mindful of the amperage and the wattage of your solar panels and how you hook them up, it matters. But this power station um, has such a wide range of voltage uh, and it's a big range, much bigger than even some of their other ones that Blue Eddy offers. Also really like the fact that it is a 2300 watt hour. This thing is big enough to where if you have like a 12 volt fridge or a CPAP or a fan or something like that that you need to run all night long, you could probably do all three of those things and not be charging this for an entire night and you're still gonna have juice left in this, which is awesome. The app is also super easy to use and very convenient. It's great that you can operate it remotely as well. And this is kind of a small thing, but honestly, I love this LCD display. It's so legible, so easy to read. It looks good in dark light conditions. When it's super sunny out, it looks good. I have a couple other power stations that when it's sunny out, you can barely even see this. Uh, but with the white and the blue, it's very legible from a far distance. And like I said, a bunch of different light conditions. Honestly, I got nothing but good things to say about this power station. I really dig it. So if you guys are in the market for a power station, definitely check this out. If you guys are a retailer or a distributor, I'll put some links as well. So if you guys want to sell this in your store, I'll put some links in the description uh, to get a hold of Blue Yeti. But uh, if you guys have any experience with this power station, please put it in the comments below. Considering giving the video a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing it in the next one. Mm -hmm.